Good morning, all. Tassie here with Tassie's Abstract Art. We are here with a guest today. Her name's Georgina. She's from the United Kingdom. She happens to be my very best friend. Her first time to actually pour paint. We're going to pour Lucy, our mannequin, today. So, let me show you what we got here. We found some really cool paint. It's called Vesper Paint. It has, um, it's a sample for house paint. At Lowe's, we got, let's see here, Classic Red. We got Coral Reef, which is an orange. We got Mystic, Mystic what? Mystic Sea. It's a pretty blue. We got Sassy Lilac. Hopefully I'm getting this in the camera. We got um, Spun Honey. Cute yellow. And then we have Ultra White to, to, for the main thing. We got her covered in a base, which was a house paint, thanks to Judy Estes. Eustace, I'm sorry, Judy. I'm sorry. I always do that. It's Bear um, Marquis. It's uh, kind of a tannish color already. Then I added a little bit of burnt brown to it to make it this color so that it works. And finally, we're using cobalt for the uh, for the color. So, we already have it poured. We have it layered. We have it ready to go. No uh, silicone, no nothing like that. So, you want to do it? All right. So I'm going to show her where to start. We're going to start up here. Yeah. And very slowly, just start pouring. You can swirl it. You can do whatever. Just take your time with it. And just try not to pour the whole thing right away. <laughs> you can also kind of go like this. However, and you are on the deal that you can turn it so that they can see. So take your time. If you need me, holler. I'm right here. There you go. Make sure it goes down the back too. Yeah. You can have to fix it. That's going to happen. We'll get it. Careful. <laughs> we don't need it going crashing. You ready for me to show you some tips and tricks here? Yeah. Alright folks, when you're pouring on a mannequin, you've got to uh, be able to move it around, right? So, let's get up here so we can get the wrist of the neck. Touch it so it'll run down. There we go. Alright, so now we're going to tilt this off the thing here. Why don't we just live? I'm going to tilt it back, I think. Tilt it this way. So we can get up here. Well, this is a whole lot different than pouring on the on the um, other mannequin, to tell you that. That'd be pretty good to make a difference. Be afraid to Got some of the other colors starting to come out. And we did a two layer, so we are hopefully going to get what we want out of this. There we go. Set her up, let her run. Enough stuff underneath her to keep her straight. 
All right. Well, actually, oops. I'm actually getting some worse. Hello. Now we're going to do the back again. Yeah, we're gonna get the back. But we also gotta try to get this piece right here that didn't want to there we go. And everything's going to accomplish. Forget. Alright, so now we're going to try to do her here. And I didn't put any metallic in this in it because I didn't think um, she would look good with metallic. I probably should have. She's definitely a tougher pour on than, than, our, than my regular mannequins. Got it. Okay, can I get you to grab her by these on each side and lean her towards you? I'll, I'll get it. We're 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 gonna knock it towards you. Further over. Further over. There you go, don't be afraid. Bend her. Go with her. <laughs> Take her over. There we go. See if it's going to roll down the back. Now we're going to do the legs and the arms off camera because I honestly have to think that we're going to have to go outside to do those. That's the scary part. Okay, we need to lean forward. And hopefully, there we go. Okay. Right She's actually turning out pretty neat. Hopefully, you like what you've seen. Please subscribe, hit the button for the next one. And uh, y'all have a great day. And we will be back in a few days to show you what she looks like dry and all put together. So hopefully, you guys will stay tuned for that. Thanks. Thank you for being with us.
Bye. Bye. Bye.